everyone welcome to the video update it's Shade today's question is going to be about at what point in a real estate transaction do you need a lawyer um, in some states the states require that you actually have a lawyer to help you in any real estate transaction so in those states of course you would want to get a lawyer sooner than later um, in Texas you are not required to have a real estate lawyer to help you, so that's optional for you. So I get a lot of questions since I'm in Texas uh, regarding when do I need a lawyer to look at the documents or when do I need a lawyer's opinion or a lawyer's uh, set of eyes on things. I think it depends on what kind of transaction you're dealing with. If you're an investor, for instance, you probably have a working relationship with a real estate lawyer already, and if you don't, you should, because a lot of your deals are going to be structured in a unique way or an unusual way from the typical buy-sell agreements. Because the buy-sell agreements are standard and the real estate board has some forms out there that people can manage by themselves in general, just to be able to use those to do a traditional transaction. If your transaction is going to be something towards uh, something along the lines of a joint venture, a wraparound mortgage, an assumption, things like that, I would suggest that you have a lawyer look at the document before you sign. In any case, no matter whether it's a traditional buy sale agreement, you do want the lawyer to look at the contract before you actually sign it. The reason being that once you've already signed it, it's sometimes more difficult to back out and you have to pay the lawyer more money to be able to figure out ways for you to back out. Okay, so always start from the beginning if you have questions. If you have a realtor involved and your realtor is very good, the realtors can help you with most of the generic uh, questions about the rights and obligations of a buyer, a typical buyer and a typical seller, or uh, the rights under your particular contract. However, when you start getting into legal um, distinctions and when it comes to the things that have to do with specific questions about rights and obligations under your contract that your realtor cannot answer, the realtors are required to defer to an attorney so they'll send you over to an attorney to answer those questions. The other time I think you will need a lawyer is when you get to the point of a title commitment which is the document that would eventually turn into a title insurance policy for the buyer. Um, sometimes there are questions on there that the realtors are not able to answer for you. You need legal opinions and legal assistance with that. So the lawyer would be able to jump in and address those issues. Um, a lot of the times there are objections to your survey or objections to the title commitment that the buyer has. And so you need a lawyer, whether you're a buyer or a seller, when it comes to that, if there are issues that pop up. The other part that you'll need a lawyer for is to make sure that your uh, disclosure document looks right if you want. Now, most people are savvy enough uh, if they've done a couple of transactions to be able to look at that disclosure document themselves. But if you're not comfortable with that, then have a lawyer to look at all the closing documents prior to the closing date. Um, you don't necessarily need a lawyer at the closing table, in my opinion. If it makes you feel more comfortable to have somebody there, then of course, take a lawyer with you and it's going to be worth it. Even though the closing officer tends to go through the documents, they go through it in a cursory fashion. So those are the times I think you would need a lawyer definitely at the very beginning and then in the middle when there's a title commitment and then maybe at the end, um, depending on you and your comfort level. Uh, in other situations where you need a lawyer, of course, like I said, is if you're on the um, seller end as well and working with an investor, if you're on the seller end and an investor approaches you to purchase your property, then you should get a lawyer because those deals are very different than the normal deals. And I hope these tips are helpful to you. That's all I have on this particular topic. Uh, if you have specific questions or whenever you're in doubt, always consult with a lawyer. So get a lawyer's opinion before you sign on the dotted lines, as always.